All right, so if we have a look on Google Maps for Tesco's at Middlesbrough, I'll put the postcode in before TS66UD. Let's see where it sends us. So there you go, this is the area that that postcode relates to. And we now know, because I was saying before about um, it was on Dub Home Road rather than where the postcode tries to send us. Well, Dub Home Road's right here in the middle. And if we open up the satellite view, there's Dub Home Road. This is where it tried to send us down Kinkerdale Road, but it's actually up Dub Home Road. And it's this building here. And it took me a while to find this because um, because in industrial estates you don't always get the street view. You know when you click down on the map, um, you don't always get the street view that comes up halfway down on the left. So sometimes you've just got to keep zooming in and, and looking around until you can find a, a building that you're looking for. And on this one here, I think I found it um, because of writing on on the road. Yeah, just here, look. So Tesco vehicles only, supply vehicles. It's typical Tesco entry. But if I'd have put the postcode in and expected it just to get me there, <clears throat> then I'd have been in, in all kinds of, of trouble. Um, down here somewhere. Down here somewhere. So you might not have been able to get turned around in an Arctic. You might have been messing around for, for half an hour. You could be busy with, with traffic, especially you know early hours of the morning or around rush hour in the morning. Um, all kinds of problems can come of it. So do a little bit of homework, find out where you're going, um, and then transfer that over to the sat-nav the way that we've, we've shown you how. And uh, hopefully that should be the end of your, your problems. But five minutes spent finding out this information before you actually get there. So if you can't do it where you've been loaded or you know where, wherever you've, you've picked your trader up from, then just pull into a lay-by or, or services or something. It takes five minutes and you, it just helps you so much. And your confidence grows because you know that you're going to end up where you need to be. Now, whether you use a map book or whether you use Google Maps, um, one's as good as the other. But I find if you use Google Maps, then you get an overview of where you're going and then you get an idea of you know, what's, what's involved with the job once you get there. Do I need to reverse? Can I just drive round? Do I need to reverse in? Do I need to find a road that I can turn around so I'm on the right side of the road for, for reversing in? Or can I alter the route of the sat-nav so when I pull up outside, the right-hand side of my trailer is against the side of the road that I want to reverse into. So all this stuff you can do, you know, literally within three or four minutes and have it plumbed into your sat-nav and you know that when you get there, everything's just going to be much easier than if you just plumb a postcode in and hope for the best. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and again, I hope you've, you've learned something with this. Any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I will answer as soon as I can. All right, thank you.